Kia just dropped a bombshell with their new EV2, and it's not just an EV. We're talking about a car that's set to become the go-to for the average Joe, with a mind-blowing price tag of just $24,000. Yes, you heard it right, 24 grand. And get this, it's not skimping on the goods either. We're looking at a whopping 400 miles of range. This isn't just a game changer, it's a game over for the competition. Now, you might be thinking, how's Kia pulling this off when everyone else is struggling? Well, they've been quietly climbing the ranks, fine tuning their tech, and now they're ready to shake up the market. The best part, this car is going to launch this year. No more waiting around. The future is practically knocking on our doors. But what's the big deal about the EV2, you ask? Let's dive in. For starters, it's all about making EVs accessible. Up until now, finding a solid EV under 30K has been like finding a needle in a haystack. But Kia is changing the game, targeting the sweet spot where over half of car buyers are looking. Its only competition, the Chevy Bolt EV, is also now discontinued. This leaves room for Kia to grab market share and get ahead in the market. The EV2 isn't just another addition to Kia's lineup, it's a standout star. It's compact, perfect for city dwellers, and packed with Kia's signature opposite United design flair sleek yet bold with a nod to the classics. And it's versatile, built on Hyundai Motor Group's eGMP platform, meaning it could come in single or twin motor setups tailored for urban adventures. Charging is a breeze, and there's even rumor about a GT model for those looking for a little extra zip. But the real kicker? Kia's rumored to be working on a revolutionary sodium ion battery, giving the EV2 that insane range without breaking the bank. Inside the EV2 is like a tech haven on wheels, with an AI assistant that's like your personal butler, adjusting everything to your liking. And for an extra splash of wow, there's talk of a mood sense cabin feature, adjusting the vibe of the car to match your mood. Stressed? It'll soothe you. Ready to party? It'll amp you up. Now, let's talk about strategy. Kia's not just aiming to make a splash, they're looking to dominate, with plans to sell a million EVs by 2030. And with the EV2's blend of affordability and features, they're on track to make a significant dent in the market. This isn't just about launching a car, it's about transforming Kia's brand. They're moving from being just another player to a leader in affordable EVs. And the best part? The EV2 is going global, so it's not just a local phenomenon, it's a worldwide revolution. But how exactly did Kia manage to turn itself around like this? It's like they went from the laughing stock of the car world to everyone's dream driveway piece. Back in the 90s, Kia cars were pretty much a joke. I mean, the reliability and performance were bottom of the barrel. But then Hyundai swooped in like a superhero and saved Kia from bankruptcy in the late 90s. They went on this crazy hiring spree, bringing in big guns from the industry to shake things up. They started taking risks with cars like the Stinger, which was the speedy liftback, and the Telluride SUV, which basically became a blockbuster hit. Before we knew it, Kia was snagging awards left and right. Sales in the US tripled over the last 20 years, and now Kia is one of the hottest brands out there. They even broke records in 2022, bagging more awards than any other brand. And now they're eyeing the EV market, where they're already causing a stir. But man, 2023 has been a bit rough with a 30% drop in EV sales. They've had some bumps along the way, like lawsuits over stolen vehicles, recalls over fire risks, and getting snubbed by the government's American EV manufacturing push. Kia's origin story is pretty humble. They started off making steel tubes and bicycle parts in 1944, and then moved on to Korea's first bicycle, the Sam Chili, in 1952. Fast forward, and they're making three-wheelers and then cars like the Brissa in the 70s. When Kia hit the US in 1994, they were all about being affordable, but the cars were pretty basic. They slowly expanded across the US, but they were still seen as this value brand without much of a wow factor. But the game changed when Hyundai took over in 1998. They started sharing tech and platforms, and suddenly, Kia was riding the Hyundai success wave and even started outshining them in some areas. By 2012, Kia was raking in awards for quality and dependability, a far cry from the earlier days. They went from being at the bottom of every list to leading the pack. Their sales globally and in the U.S. shot up, and their market share grew significantly. 
Kia's transformation wasn't just about better cars, they revamped their image too. They hired big names in the industry like Albert Behrman from BMW and Peter Schreier known for the Audi TT. They started making cars that were not only reliable but also looked cool and were fun to drive. The Kia Soul, despite its polarizing design, found its niche, backed by some clever marketing with those iconic hamsters. Investments poured in, with billions spent on facilities across the US, including a massive factory in Georgia that cranked out hits like the Sportage and Telluride. The Telluride in particular was a game changer for Kia, cementing their ref in the larger SUV market. Kia's buyer portfolio started to shift too, attracting more high-income customers. Their brand went from being seen as budget-friendly to something more inspirational, without stepping into the luxury territory. They even changed their logo and underwent a rebrand to shed their old image and embrace their new identity as a brand willing to take risks and innovate. Now, Kia's not just about gas-powered cars. They're diving headfirst into the EV market, aiming to sell a million EVs by 2030. They faced some challenges like a drop in EV sales price in 2023 and missing out on federal EV credits. But they're adapting, spending big bucks to get their Georgia plant ready for EV production and dealing with issues like vehicle thefts and recalls head on. Kia's journey has been wild, from nearly going under to becoming a brand people are excited about. They've shown that with the right moves and a bit of risk taking, you can totally transform how the world sees you. And with their push into EVs, it's clear Kia's not planning to slow down anytime soon. It's like watching an underdog rise to the top, and man, it's been one heck of a ride. Now, Kia is also launching two more EVs this year. First up, let's chat about the big kahuna, the EV9. This beast is like the electric twin of the Kia Telluride, but with all the charm of a three-row seven-seater SUV. It's like a boxcar on wheels, minus the clunky steam engine vibes, perfect for hauling your squad and their endless stuff. It's chunky, it's roomy, and people are all over it like bees on honey. But hey, not everybody needs a moving fortress, right? Enter the EV5. This baby's the Goldilocks of the Kia Electric fam. Not too big, not too small, just right. Kia's been hyping it as this magic blend of sleek design, crazy versatility, and comfort that's off the charts. It's like they're building a transformer for modern families, but without the risk of it turning into a giant robot. Now, for the globetrotters among us, Kia's got you covered with the EV5 in both China and Korea, rolling out in three flavors, standard, long range, and the long range AWD. The standard's packing a 64 kilowatt hour battery with enough juice to keep you rolling for miles, while the long range variants turn the dial up to 88 kilowatts an hour and throw in some AWD action for those who like a bit of muscle in their motors. But here's the kicker, the EV5 might be playing hard to get in the US. There's been some back and forth about whether it'll grace the American roads, with some hints it might just be a North American exclusive minus the US. It's a bummer, especially since this ride could have been a hit with the American crowd craving medium-sized electric marvels. Looking ahead, Kia's got big plans, with production starting in Slovakia and a keen eye on American and European markets. They're not just playing in the budget pool, they've got their sights set on every price segment, showing they can compete across the board. So what's the bottom line? The Kia EV2 is more than a car, it's a statement. It's about making electric vehicles accessible, stylish, and within reach for everyone. And with Kia's bold move, the auto industry is in for a wild ride. What do you think? Would you buy this car? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's get this conversation rolling. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on the EV revolution. Kia's EV2 is coming and it's going to be epic.